Hey, what's up people of the internet? It's Ryan Groose from The Loop Loft. And today I'm gonna to do a quick video talking about odd meter drum loops and uh, how you can use multiple loops in multiple time signatures at the same time uh, without it sounding like a prog rock train wreck. Um, so diving right into this tutorial, uh, I'm gonna talk about the first loop. Um, it's a MIDI loop in 7-8 um, that comes from our uh, one of our latest uh, MIDI drum loop uh, releases from the loop loft. Um, and it's just a basic groove um, that was recorded on a drum kit. But in this example, I'm using uh, the sounds from a refill, a uh, cinematic drums volume two, a refill that we did with Reason um, to kind of come up with a really cool um, non-traditional sounding drum loop. So these sounds are actually uh, me smashing a Coldplay CD with a hammer and a saw and just you know, kind of taking some aggression out. Um, and the results are kind of interesting. So let's fire this loop up. So as I said, this one is in seven, eight. So if we count into it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. You get it. All right, so it's in seven. So, you know, kind of a, not standard, but a pretty, somewhat straightforward 7-8 groove. Um, so on top of that, we can take a bigger 7, 7-4, um, which where the, the pulse, instead of being based off of eighth notes, um, it are, are seven quarter notes um, for every measure. So it's basically twice as long in length and a bigger pulse felt on top of that. So if we solo um, our 7-4 groove, you'll see it's an actual audio drum loop uh, that we recorded. Um, from one of our odd meter uh, drum loop collections. And I'll fire this thing up. So, you know, very acoustic kind of jazzy thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the reason I like this loop is it kind of has a four on the floor, or I guess seven on the floor. Uh, kick drum, which really kind of will act as the glue um, that holds these three different time signatures together once uh, we get everything going. So keeping in mind that's in 7-4, the first one was in 7-8, uh, let's hear what those sound like together. And if you do the math, um, two bars of 7-8 equals a bar of 7-4. So every two measures of the first loop, um, the one will come back around uh, together. Um, and we'll hear them all at once. So let's check that out. So if we count the big seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. So you can hear how they kind of play off each other and there's like a little tension and release that kind of resolves itself on the one. Um, you can hear the small seven inside of the big seven if you listen to the CD. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, have I lost it yet? Hopefully not, because things are about to get even crazier. So seven, eight, seven, four. What else can we do to this? How about 15, eight? So we're gonna take something, let me meet these tracks. Um, another drum groove from our uh, latest MIDI odd meter drum loop collection. And again, uh, something that was recorded on a drum set, we're gonna take in a completely different direction um, using one of the Reason uh, stock patches, Leo's Drumatang Guitaristic patch. Uh, look for it inside of Reason 6, it's really cool. Um, a lot of guitar sam percussive guitar samples. Um, so let's hear what this MIDI loop sounds like with this patch. So it's 15-8, so you can think of this as a bar of 4-4 four, four and, and with a bar of 7-8 on the end. Um, it's probably the easiest way to count it. So if we listen. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll let that sink in for a little bit. All 
right, cool. So that's that. That's 15, 8. And now if we even look at our, um, if we get to it, here we go. Um, if you look in the arrange window, um, we'll see there's a little math math involved with this. Um, to make these resolve and come around and everything to turn back on the one, since we've got a bar of 15, 8, and there's 15 eighth notes inside of there, it's going to take us 15 measures before we actually all come around on the one again between all three loops that are involved. Um, so as you'll see, I've laid this out in 7, 4 just to kind of keep things simple on the grid, um, but we could have had this in um, 7, 8 or any of the other corresponding time signatures. But it'll essentially take 15 bars of the 15, 8 groove um, for everything to come around. So on top of this, you could start thinking of composition ideas that are 15 bars in length and start writing melodies and, and chord progressions uh, that really do fit around this entire structure um, with all these grooves. And the interesting thing is every measure is different since um, there's displacement between, uh, especially between the 7-8 and the 15-8. And this sounds really nerdy as I keep describing it. Um, but it's actually really musical, so bear with me on this. Um, just take my word. Let's listen to what it, all three of these sound like together at once. And here we go. kind of hear the tension that's created, but there's still that kind of syncopated 16th uh, funkiness, if you will, going on. You don't really feel lost, but you're not exactly sure you know, where the one is. But if you write a bass line into any of these, it'll, it'll uh, even act as more glue and hold it down. Um, and as you look at the sequence pattern here, uh, we're coming around to the resolution. So bar two three four one two three four five six seven one two three four one two three four five six seven one so I hope I didn't lose you on this um, but this is just kind of some experimental concepts for you to, to explore and, and you can do this with a range of different uh, time signatures you know fives and sevens and you basically just need to, to do the math um, and figure out where the one comes back together on all of them at the same time. So that's it. Hopefully you've learned something new today, and uh, we'll start experimenting with your own odd meter loops and uh, combining different groupings and, and, and grooves on top of each other. I find it, it's a uh, refreshing way to uh, break out of the traditional 4-4 rut that uh, many of us find ourselves in uh, when composing, um, and this will inspire new ideas uh, to come out as, as you go along. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the blog section uh, where this is posted, or if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, leave some comments there and we'll get back to you. Um, so until next time, uh, we'll see you again soon. All right, take care, guys. Bye.